Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect your PlayStation 5 controller to your PlayStation 2. So let's get started. Now, in order to connect your PlayStation 5 controller to your PlayStation 2, you're going to need to get the Wingman Converter for the PS2. I will leave a link to this product in my description and I'll also leave a link to the full video unboxing. Now, this actually works with a bunch of controllers, as you can see at the bottom, PS4, PS3, Xbox, etc. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect it with the PlayStation 5 controller. So this is what the converter looks like. It has a PS2 input and on the bottom it has a micro USB, a USB-A and the LED indicator. Now in order to connect your PlayStation 5 controller to the PS2, you're also going to need a USB-A to USB-C cable for the initial setup. The first thing you'll do is plug in the Wingman converter into the PlayStation 2. Once you do that, you will see a light indicator right here and then the error message on your PlayStation 2 should go away. You'll then need to connect the USB cable to the converter and the PS5 controller. So the USB-A portion will plug in directly into the converter and the USB-C portion will plug into your controller. Once you do that, you should see an orange light indicator on the PS5 and then it should turn blue. Now upon initial setup, you may need to press and hold the PlayStation logo on your PS5 controller in order to connect it to the converter. So I press and hold, see the arrow come up and then it will go away and that should mean it's connected. And you also see that the light has turned like a white or a light blue and it should stay solid. That means it's connected and you can start using the PS5 controller with your PlayStation 2 as you can see here. Now in order to use the controller wirelessly, all you have to do is unplug the USB-C cable from the controller, unplug the USB-A cable from the converter, and then from here, you just have to press the PlayStation logo and it should connect automatically to the converter. If it doesn't, there are two fixes. As you can see here, it's still flashing and it's not connected to the converter. The first thing you can try is unplugging the converter from the PlayStation 2. So we'll just unplug this here and then we're going to plug this back in and then we're going to press the PlayStation logo on the PS5 and we'll see if that connects and there you go. So as you can see, I unplugged the converter from the PlayStation 2, plugged it back in, I hit the PlayStation logo on the PS5 controller and now the controller is working wirelessly. Sometimes you may need to restart the PlayStation 2 in order to get the PS5 to connect to the converter wirelessly, but after that, from then on, you should be able to connect your PlayStation 5 controller without having to do all of that. So that is the end of the video guys. You should now be able to use your PlayStation 5 controllers to play your favorite games on your PlayStation 2 using the Wingman Converter. Again, I will leave the link to this product in my description and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe.